Hey everyone, it's Ivan with KipAsher.com. Out here to share with you today a three-day private tutorial I had the good fortune of taking down at Thunder Ranch. If you're unfamiliar with Thunder Ranch, it is an amazing training facility located down in Southern Oregon by Lakeview and owned, operated, none other than Clint Smith, national treasure. Former Marine, fought in Vietnam, pretty cool guy. And all the stuff there is like a pragmatic approach to gunfighting. It's about fighting with a gun in your hand. So by way of example, well, all their classes are centered around it. And this comes through in different ways. One, like I don't think Clint owns or anywhere on that property is a shot timer. Like this isn't that class. His thing is I need you to shoot accurately. Once fear comes into the picture, like don't worry, you'll shoot fast. You just need to shoot accurate. And then just pragmatic approach to targeting. Like what's acceptable targeting as far as good impacts, good hits. Basically the width of the head in between the ears all the way down to the bottom of the pelvis. Anything in there, good to go. I'm like, all right, I can get behind that. And they have a lot of different courses there from like high angle rifle stuff, night vision, and of course urban rifle, pistol, things along those lines. And while they have all of those classes, they also can block out time for private tutorials where it's kind of a la carte, like how big is your group? What are you guys looking to accomplish? And I had the good fortune of going down there and taking part in one of those courses. The group I was with down there basically made up of doctors. I say doctors because yes, they can remove wisdom teeth, but they're also oral surgeons. Like basically reconstruct someone's face if their jaw gets blown off. So not dentists, but as it turned out, there was only, well, four of us. There was only four of us there. Really small group and we had a really awesome time. Started initially with basically our welcome briefing by Clint. No, well, you know, carrying a handgun is not comfortable. It's not fucking supposed to be. You're supposed to save your fucking life. Okay, you want comfort, get a pillow. Okay, you know, it's two pounds of shit. Get a two pound brick and carry it around everywhere you go for a week and it's the same thing. Okay, it's not gonna be comfortable. And it's, so that's kind of the way we look at it. Things we were looking for, we really gotta see their hands. That's why you always hear the cops on you, show me your hands, show me your hands, show me your hands. Why do they keep saying that? Because their hands basically can hurt you. But so you get an idea of more people were killed last year in the United States by personal weapons, that's hands, fists, and getting kicked, and then we're killed by guns. Okay? So I can't just blow off the fact, okay? So I got one, don't let them get a close enough to put your hands on them. Two, don't put your hands on them. Okay? Three, open the ground. It's always your friend. Distance is time. Time is marksmanship. You should have remembered that from last year. Every time I got you farther back, I created more time for you to slow down and shoot a little bit better. I didn't say go into, you know, Camp Perry Bullseye, but I, oh, fuck yeah, that is sort of a moving sight picture. Okay? Because heart rate 300, shit in my shorts, so you get it. Okay? Uh, we're looking. After that, we jumped into it. One of the instructors there at Thunder Ranch is Jack, incredibly talented guy, and he kind of does pretty much all their night vision stuff because Clint was around for probably like Gen 1 night vision, and Jack has put in a lot of hours with night vision from like the law enforcement side of it. So he's kind of their subject matter expert for that stuff. And Jack basically sat down with us and basically a really cool primer, initially going over kind of night vision, how to get the stuff set up, how to basically work the different units, PBS 14s, whatever it may be. And then moving from there over to the shoot house, basically got to go work on stuff. Moving under night vision, basically dry runs and getting to work not only in night vision, but also essentially one man CQB. And again, coming away from that, the intent, Jack wasn't going to make us ninjas, basically a primer. And the idea of basically the one man CQB concepts and principles is because everyone there had a family that family looked to and relied on with respect to yeah, personal protection and stuff like that. And so ideally take those concepts and principles, which are pretty universal 
and be able to go back and see how they actually apply to your home where you live and yeah be able to own that space you live in but overall really cool getting some really good reps in there that next morning day two dedicated to pistol and while for my own part not a ninja definitely seek to and want to improve with my strong hand as far as just pistol manipulation and accuracy i recognize that the amount of input to get incremental progress with my strong hand like a fair amount of input for pretty small incremental amount of progress conversely that same amount of input can greatly increase my capability with my other strong hand so basically dedicated the next two days to shooting other strong hand for that i'd actually borrowed from a buddy a walther pdp with a rmr and he was really stoked on it brand new mod light like pl350 something like that their new pistol light he installed it for me thank you no thank you basically installed it wrong there's a little piece that goes in there whatever it happens but that piece was not in there so the light wanted to basically walk off and for this, I was really fortunate. I ended up getting one of the FO3 4 to 3 o'clock holsters by Black Point Tactical for that gun and that light, which was great, except when the light didn't want to stay on. So eventually ended up just pulling that light, swapped it out for tried and true Surefire X300 Ultra. And while not made for it, there's basically enough retention on the light body that it allowed me to safely retain that pistol and at the same time cover the trigger guard so I could still use it. But got into it and had a great time shooting out there. We had the opportunity to work through all kinds of different drills with a pistol throughout the day. And the other thing that is honestly really nice, especially working a smaller class, is being able to just progress probably further than you would otherwise and do things that maybe aren't practical if you have a lot of people on the line because there's not enough eyes or basically the skill progression with a dozen people doesn't get to the point where you're able to do certain things to include like shooting from retention. Overall, awesome day out there, day two, getting to work, a lot of good pistol skills. Third and final day, dedicated to rifle, and me continuing my journey on my other strong side. We're shooting a KE Arms KP-15 low receiver with a ballistic advantage upper receiver on it, light profile 16 inch barrel, and then a Katie and Armament Lynx suppressor on there. As far as an optic, shooting this primary arms, Pretty cool red dot actually has like ACSS reticle in it rather than just a dot. And then that was sitting on a reptile mount. And pretty fun. Being able to go out there and just get through reps and also coming at it for me personally, shooting like dedicated other strong side and just figuring out all those nuanced things that I don't really think about like as far as like how do I manipulate the safety or bolt release, conducting reloads? But it was really great in that class, being able to just work through that whole progression. Then in the afternoon, got to go have a lot of fun out at Brown Range. Basically shooting out at a KD range, I think we shot out to like 400 yards with the guns and really good time out there. And no trip to Brown Range is complete without taking a run on the Punisher. Really amazing course of fire where you're essentially engaging essentially top half of a silhouette at about 100 yards steel and all of these different unconventional shooting positions because when you go shoot guns for reels, it might not be off a concrete bench or in the prone. So basically, hey, here's a problem, figure out the solution for it. And 
Do whatever you need to do to get in there, ideally use cover as best you can and get solid hits. And being able to run through that, so much fun. Okay, we got contact front and then we're moving left. Okay, when you're ready, remember anytime you're moving, can you straight safety on? Okay, two rounds on black target 100, it's at the end of the rear of tide. Okay, you ready to go? Okay, go get him. Rock, rock, rock. Impact. Muggle, muggle, muggle. Contact at the slots. Double it's slots. Right Double off. slots. It's still filming, so move closer to it. Okay. Move your eye to it if you need to. Okay. No. 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 Yeah, there. There. Good. Good. Awesome. Two rounds, number three aperture. Number three aperture. Number three, that's two. That's two. Wrong place. Move to the move to the right. Get better cover. There you go. Got more of you behind cover. Good job. Good job. Okay, that's even better. Now you're becoming a rock star. Woo! Won't fit. Okay, won't fit. It's a good idea though. Impact. Impact. Okay, slot number two. Best cover you can get. Number slot number one. Impact. Impact. Contact. Moving left. Go to the cross. See Jesus. Impact. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Safety on, back down, low profile, low profile, in the rock pile. Pick the place that gives you the best cover. Good job lowering the profile. Yes. Good, excellent marksmanship, good. Go to the barrel, go to the barrel. First opening you come to in the logs. Good, stand up anywhere on the logs, use cover. Impact, impact, roof, roof, roof. Head below the roof line, good, nice job. One more. Good. Okay, good. Go to the phone booth, dial 911. Let's get the hell out of here. Two rounds. Calling Jesus. Impact. Impact. Good. Yep. Finger straight, safety on. Control your muzzle. Nice run. Woo! Check him out. Old Jarhead. There's somebody is man. Yeah. Trying to shoot left-handed. Yeah. 
like that. Well, you're naturally right-handed, correct? Yeah. Okay. So this was a good one here when you rolled it over and laid it flat. Okay, because that like that's awesome. Okay, because like that, that's giving you good pro. You got yeah. good cover from this rock, which is good end of the roll. Like I'm getting like good shooting. That right there wrapped up those three days at Thunder Ranch. I think I think it's really cool. I enjoy myself every time I go down there, always learning new stuff. On the one hand, incredible facility as far as just what it offers from like concrete shoot house, multi-levels to all kinds of different steel, whether it's the Punisher or even some of their, which I haven't had a chance to shoot through, basically like you walk through and start looking for targets and there's all kinds of targets like hidden out along either side of this like road and really cool facility there. And then on top of it, you have Clint and Heidi, awesome people. So what was their other instructors like Jack who was there this time? And I think something that's really cool is the fact that they tailor courses to specific groups that are looking to do stuff. And so if you have a group of people that's like, hey, like these are skills we want to get better at, we would like to go down there and learn, like you can end up scheduling that, which I think is pretty cool. And then on top of that, if you just want to see other courses, like they offer a lot down there. And you can find out all the information on their courses and stuff down below, there'll be a link. But overall, another rad time down at Thunder Ranch. And if you appreciate my content and want to support it, greatly appreciate it. One of the biggest ways, honestly, is supporting me directly through Patreon. Helps me go out, create content for you. Little as a dollar a month. Like, can't even buy a cup of coffee for a dollar a month. And in addition to that, you usually get early access to videos and active Discord. If you have questions for me, happy to answer them over there. And yeah, really appreciate all your guys' support though. Again, helps me go out there and create more content for you. But as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.